I'm Adam Gertler, and on this episode of Kid in a Candy Store, I'm checking out candy, confections, and ice cream that can only be described as blissfully sweet. From a sweet take on pizza. This is absolutely the sweetest bar food I've ever had. To an exquisite three-course tasting menu inspired by your favorite childhood desserts. To luscious brownies and bars made right before your eyes with everything from bananas to scotch. It's so chocolatey and so creamy. To architecturally inspired ice cream sandwiches sold out of a truck. Getting it all over me, but I love it. So join me, the Kid in the Candy Store, as I show you just how sweet life can be. As our blissfully sweet adventure continues, I'll find a decadent DC dessert served in three courses. So dessert for dinner consists of eight different desserts. And ice cream sandwiches made with wine and cheese. My sweet journey continues in Washington, DC, a fine dining mecca. For many people, the best part about dining in an upscale restaurant is the delectable dessert available after the meal. Well, how about a place where you can order dessert as an exquisite three-course tasting menu with flavors from your childhood, like Boston cream donuts and lollipops for adults? Welcome to Coco Sala. Does this remind you of all of oh, flavors that you would have like oh, when you were a child? This is much better. Sala is Italian for lounge, and everything in this restaurant lounge is infused with chocolate, including savory dishes like the mac and cheese topped with chocolate-covered bacon. Everything I've had here is just delicious. Chocolatier and owner Nisha Sidu conceived of her upscale eatery as a place where dessert comes first. It really feels like a fine dining restaurant. So you can literally come here and have dessert for dinner. Dessert for dinner. I think I found the right place. And nothing captures the spirit of Coco Sala like the Coco All Grown Up Tasting Menu. Eight different sumptuous desserts served in three courses. Created by pastry chef Santosh Tiptor. First course. It's our twist on coffee and donuts, a little Boston cream donut with an espresso panna cotta. You're taking a Boston cream donut, but you're growing it up. Exactly. This playful starter begins with a unique dough. So we have a brown butter inside, not a regular butter. So you're starting with the basic concept of yes. a donut dough, right. but you're layering flavors in where exactly. they would normally be. The little rounds of dough rise for half an hour, then take a dip in the deep fryer. It is like the littlest popover. Chef Santosh adds the cream filling with a hint of vanilla bean. Then we'll use the homemade chocolate glaze. And of course, you can't have donuts without coffee. A special form of coffee, that is, which is our espresso panna cotta. Made by heating milk and cream infused with crushed coffee beans. Next, it is poured into special molds and chilled in the blast freezer for 15 minutes. Then have some uh, whipped cream with vanilla beans. That is coffee and donuts a la Coco Sala. That's incredible. There is that acidity and fruitiness to the dark chocolate. Right. But then it gets balanced out by that sweet cream. Next, a cold shot of coffee courtesy of the panna cotta. The coffee beans are giving you a little bit of the crunch. Exactly. But it's not so bitter because then you get the whipped cream right exactly. after, which is a little bit of sweet. And then the panna cotta itself has great coffee flavor. The chocolate is really rich, whereas like most donuts is sort of like an afterthought. Right. This is like the main event. Next up, our main course. And a chocolate lover's dream. A moist chocolate cupcake infused with rum syrup, garnished with rich chocolate buttercream, sprinkled with chocolate-covered crispy rice, and finished with chocolate petals. This looks incredible, but this isn't just the main course right here. That's right. We're going to take a banana split. We're going to deconstruct it. This new take on a banana split is inspired by another classic, Bananas Foster. It starts with a heated mixture of brown sugar, heavy cream, butter, and rum. So this is right now you have the elements of the caramel sauce. So we're going to flambe with rum. So I'm going to flame this up here? Yes. Pouring out fire. And to keep the cocoa theme going, the bananas and sauce are topped with a roasted cocoa nib cookie. Instead of ice cream, this split is served atop homemade peanut butter gelato. The gelato is formed in silicone molds frozen at negative 18 degrees for three hours. I just combined the banana caramel with the chocolate cupcake, and it was good. The final course of this decadent meal begins with sweet cream infused with freshly blanched basil. This preserves the color and gives it a more subtle flavor. A lot of different herbs go well in desserts, and basil happens to be one of them. The basil cream is piped into a hand-rolled miniature chocolate cookie cone dipped in dark chocolate. Is there anything left? Is there any stone left unturned in the, in the pantheon of dessert? Well, what if I told you strawberry cheesecake and popping candy? I would say I'm going to take that ride with you. A puree of strawberries lends color to the cheesecake bites. 
Nisha adds a wooden lollipop handle before dipping the cake in rich milk chocolate. It's like you're chocolate covering an entire cheesecake. Yeah. It just happens to be a very small cheesecake. These cheesecake lollies are finished with a rocking candy you may remember from your childhood. It's a little surprise at the end. It's some popping candy. With our cheesecake lollipops ready to rock, dinner, make that dessert, is served. All three courses, just for you. So dessert for dinner consists of eight different desserts. We begin with the main course, the banana split deconstructed. Take some of the bananas, put them on top of the gelato, and then experience it together in one bite. So it's deconstructed, and now I'm reconstructing. Cinnamon and the peanut butter and the chocolate. And the sauce is just incredible. This is the chocolate rum cupcake. It's amazing how much the crispy rice coated with chocolate brings to this, because everything is kind of soft and creamy. And then at the end, when you get the crunch of the rice, it's incredibly pleasing. So now, let me try the dessert to my dessert. Tiny little ice cream cone, basil cream. It works. It's so unexpected. The basil totally lightens it, and I love that little bit of licorice-ness that you get from the basil. All right, so this is the finale of the finale, right? With milk chocolate coated strawberry cheesecake with the fizzy candy on top. I've got little explosions going on in my mouth, literally. I love the graham cracker crust. The cheesecake itself is great. So now what's for dessert? 